In the previous video, we left off here. We were showing some interactions of amino acid side chains in an active site to a bound phosphate group. But our labels don't look very good. We can barely see the measurement here because it's obscured by this dash. I'm going to show you how to resize your labels in this video and move them into a better orientation to create publication quality images. Okay, let's begin. First, I do want to label these interacting residues. We have two arginines down here and a histidine, but I think it'd be useful if they had their own label. I'm using a trackpad, and so I can go ahead and command click on my Mac, or you can right click if you're using a mouse, so any way to right click. Go to residue and label. And now we can label the residues, and we'll go ahead and select residues here. So this says histidine 249, but it is embedded within the backbone and it looks pretty bad. So some people, and actually it's going to be a capital, if we can get it into view here a little bit better, it's a capital HIS dash. So some people prefer to have capital H, lowercase i, s, maybe a space here, maybe a dash here. There's all different ways that people prefer you to show this. And so I'm going to show you how we can put on any custom label that we want. So again, let's right click on this residue, residue, label, and clear it. Now what most people don't know is that you can actually right click here, and then just say edit label. This is what it's going to put as the label, but we can label this residue as anything we want. So say I like to use a capital H and a lowercase is. Maybe my PI wants a dash in there. I can do all of that. Let's repeat this process for the remaining residues. Now that everything is labeled, these labels are pretty small. Let's fix the label size. The command to do this is set label underscore size and then comma. Now we have some choices. We can either do this in font sizes that we're familiar with, so like 14 point font. We do something like that. But if we set the label size with a negative number, we're doing it in angstroms. So whatever you're comfortable with, and you'll see this makes it quite a lot bigger. Um, I think it was just about at 14 before. Um, so let's just try it with a positive number, maybe like 18, see if that works. That's a little bit smaller. You know, I kind of like that size. So that looks good to me now. Now save your work. We are going to enter edit mode and edit mode can do some crazy things. Um, if you click on the chain, you could actually move the protein chain and I've never been able to undo that once that happens to me. So save and prepare to have to close your file and start this part again. But um, I'm using my trackpad, so I'm going to change my mouse now to a two button editing mode. And then I'm going to press on my Mac, it's command and click. I'm going to very carefully select this histidine and move it over here. Pressing command again and moving this label. So I'm just going to very carefully move these off. And hopefully I don't click on the residue atoms themselves because they you can mess up your structure. And I think it's permanent. I don't know if you have any insight on this. Leave me a comment. Okay, I'm not nuts about the orientation because I can't see my sugar very well. So I may need to move things around again. And actually, right now, let's just exit, go back to one button viewing mode just so I don't have an accident in that edit mode. Um, but I'm going to orient this as best I can to show these interactions. Oh, I like that. That looks pretty good. My sugar isn't too obscured. This phosphate's kind of overlapped, but you know, just minimizing overlap is really great. Now I'm going to go back into edit mode. <laughs> Command click and get these labels into a beautiful orientation for a publication quality image. And this little 2.7, oh, I'm nervous. Okay, there we go. 
And we do want to show that it's that dash, maybe right there. Not too bad. Okay. I am, again, using a trackpad, so I'm going to scroll with two fingers on my trackpad. Oh, I actually, I think I need to leave edit mode, so one button view edit mode again. Okay, and now we can see if we can apply some clip. Actually, I think we were just about at the clipping that we could, so that'll apply clicking, all clipping. Also, uh, using the scroll wheel on a three button mouse will do clipping, or you can apply clipping manually right here to different angstrom slabs. So I think this image looks pretty nice. Um, we have our labels in good spots at good sizes. And uh, yeah, I hope that helps you to create some really nice looking, nicely labeled images.